Oh, hey little buddy. I think I'm gonna call you Hope. Meanwhile, I reckon you can be called Reality. Yeah, that's a good name for you. Hi everybody, it's Razine here for Astrophotography and on a day when I had to work late, it is typically, of course, going to be clear tonight. Well, maybe a little bit. It's probably one of the worst clear nights I could have had. So basically, there is a 20% chance of cloud around midnight, apparently, according to one weather forecast. Another weather forecast on clear outside says it's going to be clear all night. Now, even 20% of cloud is 80% better than I've been having lately, so I'm going to set up still. Uh, but there is a full supermoon up in the sky as well, so that's going to make things interesting. And I'm going to set up for some astrophotography, and uh, I'd like you to join me. Oh, firmware update. Didn't check it, did I? Schoolboy error. I think Polaris has gone behind the clouds. It's alright, it's not meant to get clear until later anyway. But if I can at least get the power alignment sorted right now, that's one job ticked off the list. All right, firmware's all updated. I can actually start this parallel alignment. Am I even in focus? Still dark in the tube. <laughs> 87 stars. Oh, it did it. <laughs> it's amazing how many more stars I can see now that I've switched that light off. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy that the ASI Air has put alignment built into it. But there's definitely many days lately where I miss having a pole master. I really only need one more night to finish this project I'm working on. You see, this equipment I have the ZW0585MC on the back of the telescope here, and of course my Skywatcher, it gives me actually a really narrow field of view. And I'm using that to my advantage to recreate the framing that is very popular with a specific target in the Cygnus constellation. And it is dark enough to get going, so I should probably turn these lights off and get going. I'll catch up with you in a moment. All right, so the framing and focusing procedure's just been done. And now I'm just waiting for the first sub-exposure to come in. So any second now. Wait for it. Boom, there we go. So that is kind of what I'm working with right now. I'm pretty sure that start the end used to be in the frame a bit more but it doesn't matter. I know it's noisy as all get up because it's one picture, but that's not bad for a little camera that sensor that's in the 585. I don't think it was designed really for deep sky photography, but it seems pretty capable. I enjoy what this looks like. Now I just got to let this run and add the rest of the data to it, but I'm really excited about it. Look at that framing. I really like this framing. And I think once it gets uh, crop down maybe to a four by three aspect ratio or something like that. It could be printed quite nicely and stood up. Now, another thing I was looking forward to doing tonight, aside from the telescope, which is obviously fantastic, was 
to get out and finally do some landscape photography at night time. Like I finally assembled everything. I've got a rotator, I've got a wedge, I've got all that. Uh, there's no chance I'm going to get Comet Shushushan, or <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it properly. So there you go, Paul. Um, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> so I was going to put the 77D here with the 17 to 50 onto the move shoot move rotator and take some night photography. And then I realized that this lens is broken. Just look at this. Look at that deflection. It's deflecting so much you can actually see the ribbons in the gap. So for all intents and purposes, this lens is kaput, which is a shame because it would fit a full frame camera. 17 to 50 at full frame. And I'd really like to get a full frame, like a 60 sometime. And I was planning on using this lens, but first I need to now get this lens repaired. <laughs> but it's not even that good at focusing at affinity at 17 mil. So I'm not sure what to do now. I might need to change the plan. I've got a 50 millimeter lens. It's nice to get back out with the equipment under the stars and do this. I think the last time I was out was five or six weeks ago. So as I said at the start, this might not have been the most perfect night to do it, but actually it turned out, apart from the moon, it turned out to be really good. It's going to be clear till two or three a.m. Thank you for hanging around and staying with me and joining me on these kind of vlogs. Have you clear skies? Keep looking up, keep the cameras clicking. And this picture is for you. but this mug of PG chips is for me.